You're watching Throttle House. I'm Thomas. And I'm James. And today we're at our test track for a drag race. Oh. Look at that. And no drag race is complete without an underdog, which today takes the form of the Supra, which for 2021 has received an update giving it more power. 335 horses becomes 382, and 365 pound-feet of torque becomes 368, all in a tight 3,400 pound rear-wheel drive package. And it's the cheapest. Yeah, but how about that C8 though? Sure, it's a little bit heavier and a bit more expensive, but with 495 horsepower and 470 pound-feet of torque, this rapid blue exotic-looking monster is equipped with an insane launch control system that has left far scarier things than a Supra in the dust on our airstrip. And this time, I'm driving it, because I want to win. But he might not! because I'll be piloting this stunning, almost twice the price, 911 Carrera S, a car that we had so much fun with recently when we reviewed it in manual spec. Like the Supra, it gets two less cylinders than the Corvette and less power, 443 horsepower according to Porsche, but it's the lightest out of all three, somehow, and it too is blessed with a phenomenal launch control. So this is exciting. If you're new to Throttle House, we do car reviews, track tests, and quite a lot of messing about. So subscribe and hit the bell. In the 911 Carrera S, rear wheel drive like those guys, a little bit more power than the Supra, a little bit less power than the C8. But Thomas, I don't think he's uh, counting on the fact that I have the uh, Dippergefluf Getriebe. The And not only do I have the Dippergefluf Getriebe, I also have a boost button which I can press just before I launch. So I've got a solid launch control, I've got Porsche engineering on my side. I'm not scared of that blue bug, that Italian copycat. This is German through and through. I'm a little bit scared. Okay. C8 Corvette. The Supra, which by the way is driven by our friend Mark Hacking from the Globe and Mail, Globe Drive, um, I'm not worried about. The 911, I am. Because this has, the reason this Corvette seems to win so many drag races this year is because it is mid-engine, so the weight's over the rear tires, and it has really good gearing and a crazy launch control system, so it just goes pow, off the line. But that 911 is rear-engined and also has really good launch control and some sort of an extra boost function that James didn't tell me about until right now. So, hopefully I can win. <laughs> I love this car. I love the C8, though. I, I, just, uh, I, just, I just really, really, really want to be in a 911 with a car that costs significantly less than it. start there oh man i started a split second late i tried where did you go i, I don't know i went for a coffee <laughs> for a coffee i had a good start and everything and you had a bad start and you still did that well i just i just took off slightly late because i pressed the boost button a second too late why don't we do it again okay we'll do it again and then i'll we'll beat do. you by more okay and we'll give great. the super another chance okay mark's not looking too happy yeah <laughs> okay here we go round two round two Yep, yep. We are ready. And go. Perfect start. Bye bye, Corvette. See you later. Oh, the 911's just got some serious legs at the top end. Look at it go. 
Yes, it feels good to win. Oh, 208 across the line there. Oh, man. This isn't even the turbo. What numbers are they saying this has? Because it's not true. Wow, this is fast. I don't think that I could make this any more perfect than that just was right there. No, this thing goes. I, I've, I haven't seen a thing go off quite like that at this, at this stri strip this yet. This is just the S. This isn't even the turbo. That's, it's absurd. That is, I cannot believe how fast that thing is. Oh, it feels good to see you in my wing mirror again. What do you mean again? It was you won one the last race. Few. I got to win one race before the... the <laughs> Do you want to try a roll and see if the gearing and the, and the launch control sure. being removed? Sure. Why not? Might as well. Miserable Thomas is the best Thomas. He likes being moody. He likes it. The Supra. Well, it looked good. It looked good while losing. I've said it before and I'll say it again. That 911 Carrera S is too fast. It does not need to be that quick in a straight line. It is, like if you told me that was the 911 Turbo, I'd 100% believe you. All right, I'm gonna do a roll race. As we drive by the start line and go. Oh, that was better for the Corvette, but it's not good enough. Oh, I'm closer, but no, that thing just has, that's so quick. <laughs> oh my God. As I figured, the gearing helped. The gearing helped, but not enough. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I listen, I just said to the camera on the way back there, that car is too fast. Too fast? It does not need to be that fast. That is what a loser would say. I'm sorry, it's just the Carrera S. The nine, the if, if you told me that was a 911 well, in, in my time knowing you, you've said it's just an AMG. It's just the Carrera S. You're the scourge of car enthusiasts. Just no, respect I'm not. what I you're- just, I just want these cars to be, you just want to win. Yes, that's well, that's the main thing, yes. Okay, well you said that that is one of the best handling cars you've had on our track. Yes, And the time is. proves it. Yep. So go and sit hot laps in this, and then we'll see what's happening. Okay. Okay, as promised, a hot lap of the 911 Carrera S. As our rules state, I only get three hot laps in each car to set the best time I can, and you're watching the fastest lap. Now, as we saw, the Carrera S is stupid fast in a straight line, but the question is, how does it stack up around our track? Because while most of the cars near the top of the leaderboard, including that C8, are on a sticky Michelin tire, this 911 came on a Goodyear Eagle F1. Because it's one of the approved tires that 911s can be sold on. It's a sticky tire, no doubt, but in my experience, it falls short compared to the track-specific Michelin PS4S or Cup 2. Thankfully, as you're seeing here, this 911 was one of the best handling cars I've driven around this track. Once I figured out the balance of how to use the brakes to turn the car into the corner, I found it to be an incredibly precise and adjustable tool. And obviously, on the straights, it just pulls like a freight train. I will say that it's not nearly as lively as other cars I've driven around here. It's just so well sorted, it's a bit uneventful. Even with all the traction systems turned off and in the sportiest setting, it was so well rooted to the pavement. But even though the breakaway characteristics of the chassis and the Goodyear tire were really predictable, I did feel like mid-corner speeds were a bit let down by the tires. Okay, let's see how Thomas did. A 1, 12, 33. That's nice and high on the list, but actually a little bit lower than we were expecting. I have a feeling that on a slightly better tire, the 911 Carrera S could be right up there. If you do want to see the hot lap in the C8, you can find that in our C8 vs GT500 video. Anyway, we hope you had fun, we certainly did. And given its success on the strip today, we might have brought out another cheeky little thing from Michigan to fight the 911. So stay tuned for that.